Hello everyone and welcome back to Butterfly Dreams Crochet and More. My name is Jeannie and today is Wednesday, April the 19th, 2023. And this is some happy mail. UPS just dropped this box off. I got a package in the mail the other day from Sis Brenda. So this package comes from Brie. And... We're going to look at all of this together. I did start on the pull tab, but I have not opened it. So let's see what I got. But first, before we get into this. Oh, it's all in bags. So let me take the bags out. Ooh, something fell out. Ooh, this smells good. Ah. <laughs> Before I get into us seeing what I received, let me welcome each and every one of you to the Crochet Oasis. If you are new or returning, does not matter. I appreciate each and every one of you all the same. And yes, I love each and every one of y'all. So, mm, it's something wood, y'all. Let's see what we got. Ooh. So, I will not throw those away. Okay, so I need to ship something new, P.S. Ooh. Oh, I got to get a screwdriver. <laughs> I see screws. Oh, this is all marked. Okay. Hi, thank y'all, Brie. Now, the maker of this was Brie's husband. We're going to call him Mr. Brie. Tell you what, I'm going to pause the video and I'm going to put it together. Then I'll come back and I'll show y'all what it is. Keep y'all in suspense just for a little while. How about that? Okay, have I kept y'all in, in suspense long enough? Not expense, suspense long enough. It's been about 10 minutes or so, but let me show y'all. I'll be right back. Hold on just a little bit longer. All right, I'm ready to reveal what I got from Brie. Are y'all ready to see? Huh? Look. This was made by her husband. And it is from Breezy's Crafty Creations. Look, y'all. It has a butterfly in the center. And each outside panel has butterflies. And this is what it's for. You can use it with your bobbins. And this one will hold two bobbins. Or you can use it with skeins of yarn. Love it, Brie. Thank you. Thank you, Mr. Brie. Thank you, thank you, thank you. I love it. And it will make it easier to work with your bobbin yarns or even like the, um, let's try a cone of cotton. Because, you know, a lot of us got that cotton yarn. And I know like the cotton sprout, which like is like a donut. Let's see. Perfect. Look at that. I'm not sure that I could get another cone on there, but being able to work with one cone, that is perfect. And y'all see, I'm just turning that with my finger. Look how perfect that is. So I could sit here. And just pull. Look Look how easy. Oh, Brie, I love it. I love it. Thank you so much. Um, now I can get back to making my baby dresses out of the cones and stuff. It's so frustrating because you have to do it from the outside or you have to cake them up. Then your cones end up falling over and stuff like that. So this is perfect, Brie. Thank you so much. Now, 
I did purchase this from her. And if you are interested in getting one for yourself, I will leave her information down below, her channel link, and her email address. She said reach out to her and she'll get with you as far as like design and stuff go. Um, now, I had no idea that they were going to be putting butterflies on this, but Brie knows I'm a butterfly. I love butterflies. My channel, Butterfly Dreams Crochet and More. Brie, I love it, darling. I love it, love it, love it. I'm not coordinated left hand to put this on. It is perfect. Perfect, and I love the butterflies, and they are burnt with wood. Yes, it smells so good. I love the smell of wood. Now, this is just unfinished wood. It's not finished. It doesn't have a clear coat or anything like that on there, but if I wanted to, I could put some polyurethane on this and seal it, but I think I'm going to leave it just like it is. I love natural wood stuff, y'all. And I love wood that has been stained. So, Brie, thank you, darling. Thank you, thank you, thank you. Now, the next thing that I'm going to show you comes from Brenda from B.Y.C. Crochet. Um, she did a video yesterday. She released a video yesterday of her blocking boards. OMG, honey, let me tell you, she's taking blocking boards to a whole new dimension. Yes, can't touch her and Mr. Uh, Leonard. That's her husband's name. So, they are a duo team. They work together and they create these amazing pieces. She has one with a yarn ball on it. She has one with the granny square pattern on it. Did you hear me? The granny square pattern using the symbols in crochet. I will link that video up here at the top and definitely at the end of this video. It will be at the end. She has one that she did out of a blocking board that she bought that is more rectangle. But it says, I don't always block, but when I do, wow. And all of the O's are yarn balls. Y'all, they are beautiful. Beautiful. Mine is beautiful too. And I bet y'all like, will you just show the darn thing so we can see it? We want to see it, Jeannie. Jeannie, stop it. Show us. Y'all want to see. Look at what I got. And it is a coral stain. Coral color stain. And it is so, so beautiful. And she puts her BYC Crochet logo on the back of them. I love it, y'all. I am currently using one of her pegboards. Um, now, the one she showed yesterday, some of them do have a little bit of an imperfection to them. And what I mean by that, the boards measure 14 by 14. And that's the wood. I do apologize. I paused the video because I had to sneeze. Bless me, bless me. <laughs> okay told y'all I'm back, right? Last week, your girl was tired. Every muscle, every bone in her body ached every day last week. I was too tired to do anything. Y'all saw the exhaustion in me on my live. Monday and Wednesday with the Yarn and Fiber Sisters. So, I'm currently using one of her blocking boards. The boards themselves measure 14 by 14. But from the first peg to the next, to the outer edge peg, is 12 inches by 12 inches. So you get 12 inch by 12 inch blocking boards. Now she did mention yesterday that some of her boards were 
um, a little offset. So if you're interested in any of them, watch the video that will be up in this video here at the top. There will be a little link that you can just click and go to. And it will also be linked at the end of this video. Also, all her information will be in the description box down below. Also, if you're interested in any of the blocking boards that she showed yesterday, send her an email. She will get with you on the pricing and stuff. I never give pricing out for anything that I purchase um, unless it's off of Amazon or somewhere like that. But if I purchase from an individual who makes stuff specific for what you want, the price may be different because you may want something totally different than me. Um, I may pay more, you may pay less or vice versa. So I never give out prices for stuff like that. So this is the first blocking board that I ever got from her right here. And my number fell off. That's all that fell off. And I am putting all my squares on it. <clears throat> now this is four. I can get and these squares are five by five. So you can see you if you do small squares, you got enough room to put quite a bit of squares on your one blocking board. But you can go up to a 12 by 12 square and block on this board as well. They do include some of the long pegs, some medium-sized pegs, and some small pegs, depending on what you're wanting to block or how many you want to block. Now, she did um, send me an extra pack of the long ones, but when my husband and I were at Home Depot last week, I picked up a rod, a metal rod, and he cut me some extra long ones now of course mine ain't the same length like Brenda them so <laughs> but they work actually the ones he cut are right here in the front <laughs> right here with these squares now I'm not doing this to block my squares I'm just doing this to keep up with them and they look beautiful on the board look how pretty that is y'all you can't deny it that is beautiful. And I just stuck the extra pegs right inside there. But I do have a bag that they go in. But yes, aren't they beautiful? Now, <clears throat> these are all my pink center. No. I put these on the wrong side, looks like. Yeah. This one don't go over here. And that's going to fall. This one goes over here. I don't, I look. It was late last night when I got done with 49 through 56 squares. And it ain't no telling what I did. Okay. So 45, 55 goes underneath there. And I don't know what day that was. But that's how it is there. So I have all my pink center squares over here. All my mint T squares over here. All my blue over here. Cascade blue right there. And um, well, you know what? I'm glad I did this video because that's not right either. Because these mint T's aren't supposed to be over here. Unless I didn't did too many in the color mint T. Yeah, see? I don't, I must was half asleep last night because look, no, my lavender. <laughs> I have not weaved the ends in yet of the ones I did last night, but I will get them done. So I do keep them. I'm supposed to keep them in, in the right order anyway, but hey, you know, but I'm not going to sit here and make y'all watch me put them back on the board. If you're interested in a scheme bobbin or cone holder from breeze crafty creations her information will be in the description box down below again these are handmade by her husband or if you're interested in a blocking board personalized blocking board or the blocking board with the granny square pattern the traditional granny square pattern or 
you're interested in doing one for your own channel or you want some you got something else in mind shoot her an email honey because trust me they can do it yes they can they can do it i love my butterfly board butterfly dreams crochet and more and my sign subscribe sign right there also come from brenda my butterfly dreams crochet sign right there came from brenda and behind grandma i also have a comment sign and a like sign and you can see i also have another little small subscribe sign right there so if you're interested in any of the wood products Brenda's email will be in the description box down below. Please reach out to her. They do amazing work, y'all. Amazing work. And until next time, remember, be kind. Remember to smile. I love you all. And I'll see y'all in the next video. Until then, bye for now. Mm -hmm.